The push of water with the forward motion of the storm is what causes the surge. We're going to talk about that because that is one of the threats that we have here where we have tropical storm watches and warnings. And what that means is that these conditions, you could see them when it comes to a watch within 48 hours with a warning. It's within 36 hours. Remember, tropical storm force winds go 39. And then once you get to 74, that's a hurricane. But it's not just the winds. It's also the rains and the surge and whatnot, though we do have a hurricane hurricane watch here again within 48 hours you could see hurricane force winds there's only one model that pumps it up to hurricane uh, strength but it's exploding right now into the Gulf of Mexico now when we talk about surge the size of the storm and the forward speed are two of the biggest components with surge what exactly is surge that's when a tropical entity can build up the water and then push it ashore with its forward motion and of course doing significant damage Katrina comes to mind that is the most recent hurricane that we had with a tremendous surge. Remember that hurricane took up almost the entire Gulf of Mexico. It was slow moving and the surge got up to 28 feet. We are going to see nothing like that with this system. That was a category three hurricane, by the way. We're thinking we could see surge up to three feet, but again, it can go all the way up to 28 feet with systems like Katrina. So what does one to three feet look like and where are we going to see it? Well, this is the west coast of Florida. There's Gainesville, Florida. The Cantor is just off to the west here. Tampa is down here. That's that area. So it's north of the Tampa area, well north of Tampa. We're talking one to three foot surge is what we could see. As we go a little bit farther north, we could see that surge closer to that three, four, maybe pushing a little higher than that. Again, a lot of these areas are used to this and you want to take Take your car to higher ground if you can, and that would be into perhaps a parking garage, you know, up a couple levels in order to save your car. So speaking of your car, how much water does it take? Does it take one foot? Does it take three feet in order to move your car? Well, let's have a look at our surge graphic and show you that six inches of swiftly moving water can knock you off your feet, so you have to remember that. All you need is about a foot of swiftly moving water to move your car. But when the surge, it comes in slow, guys. It's not like it's this, it's not a tsunami, if you will, coming in. That surge is going to build and build and build and build. And this is about what we think. So it could come up to just over your tire well. Again, if there is a parking garage and you're in one of those flood prone areas, I know a lot of you know uh, in Florida because we've been through this a few times, right? You just take it up into the first or second level and the surge will go down pretty quickly. But as you get up to six feet here, that, of course, is going to cause some more significant issues.